Eric, I see that you're sorting your sparkly crystal collection. Did you know that it takes millions of years to make one crystal? Yep, it's true! If you like, I can show you how to make your own crystals much more quickly and they taste good too! Oh, what's that? A glass of sugar crystals… okay… <laughs> you used magic to turn sugar into candy! Bravo! Come on, now let's try it again, but this time using science! To make crystals that you can eat, start by tying a short string around a pencil. Then, put a paper clip on the other end of the string. Balance the pencil on top of a glass and let the string and the paper clip hang down inside. Make sure the paper clip and the string don't touch the bottom or sides of the glass. Next, pour boiling water into a measuring cup. One third of a cup. Ask an adult to help you with this part. You want to be very careful with this step as the water is very hot. Now, mix as much sugar as you can into the hot water. Go ahead! Keep going! The hotter the water, the more sugar you can dissolve. Dissolve means the sugar disappears into the water. Keep adding sugar until you see sugar residue on the bottom. Now, add a few drops of food coloring. And a few drops of vanilla extract for extra flavor. Two or three drops is enough. Then stir. Finally, pour the sugary water into your glass with the string. Be very careful because the water is still hot. Next, we wait. Tuck the glass away somewhere safe and wait for at least two days. So Eric, are you ready to see if you were successful in making crystals? Okay, let's see how they look. <gasps> Hooray! It worked! And if we waited even longer, the crystals would be even bigger. I started making some crystals a week ago. Check under the counter. They're even bigger and look delicious too! Be sure to remove the paper clip before you eat the crystal. Easy there, Eric. Eating too much sugar isn't good for you. Gemstones such as diamonds, emeralds, and rubies are all crystals. Crystals are made from minerals that got so hot that they were almost in a liquid state, like lava that comes out of a volcano. If melted minerals cool very slowly over millions of years, crystals form. These crystals are made of tiny atoms, which are arranged in a very organized way in repeating patterns. There's a place in Mexico called Cave of the Crystals. It has crystals that are even bigger than people. The way those giant crystals form is similar to the way Eric made his crystals on a string. Now you know how to make your very own crystals, and you can eat them too. It's not magic, it's science.